Did he make stuff up as he went on that interview? Yes, listen, listen, here's proof, right? Cat Williams started off the interview by saying, sis, do you know any This man said that he got accepted into college at seven years old, that he read 3,000 books from age eight to 12, that he ran a 4.140 yard dash in his prime, and right now he can run a 4.340 yard dash. You mean to tell me that Cat Williams is faster than any NFL player to ever live? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Say that. Let me ask you this, man. Like, like you, you know, um, Cat. We are gonna go back to that that interview since it's really, really one that's really going through there right now. Yeah. Like he said that his deal was if on on Friday after next mm -hmm. that who if 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 he did another movie with Ricky Smiley, he would mm -hmm. have to be playing in a dress. <laughs> okay, but he say the next they did play him in a dress. Do you think that Does that was Calculated statement. Yeah. So you, you against think? Adam, you against Keith, uh, Cat Williams or the other dude? No, no. Look, so if you are or like Cat Williams, and you claim that you stand for something in the community, right? So you telling me that you contributed and forced another black man hand to wear a dress to feed his family, bro? You so cool? Nah, but he said in his in his defense, he said he did that because that's what he did best. It don't matter though. He did best right? in the in the what's that? Listen in the dress. Listen, right. So you can't talk that high power black power. Then make the white man force a black man hand to wear a dress to feed his family. Wow. It's that simple. So you think he lying? No, do you think he lying about anything he said? Oh hell, shit. Listen, right. So did, look. did he make stuff up as he went on that interview? Yes. Listen, listen. Here's proof, right? Cat Williams started off the interview by saying, "Sis, do you know any?" This man said that he got accepted into college at seven years old, that he read 3,000 books from age eight to 12, that he ran a 4.140 yard dash in his prom, and right now he can run a 4.340 yard dash. You mean to tell me that Cal Williams is faster than any NFL player to ever live? That Cal Williams is faster than Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt ran a 4.22. Tell him say he ran a 4.1640 yard dash. Yeah, I'm problem. saying them lies. I'm talking about, I mean, I'm, talking lies. Lies. Man, I'm talking about on, when he man. started talking about the, all the shit that you can fact check, like them stealing his jokes, all this shit. Listen, listen. I, I do think that fat, sloppy caused Cedric, caused Cedric the fucking entertainer. He, he, listen, and he stole them jokes. So, yes. Now, the other shit, like going to an Illuminati meeting with Luda, and they offering um, $10 million for 20 movies. I'm going to be real. And here's why I think it's cap. Listen, bro, I don't care what your morals and integrity is. You, you put any black man in a room with them good white folks and they offer you $200 million to date a white woman and like cut your beard and work for our agenda. And you're not going, man, listen up, Just bro. cut your beard and date a white woman. That ain't nothing major, though. Hey, listen, I don't think that Cat Williams have enough integrity to walk away from $200 million for his funky crack smoking soul. I, listen, bro, he smoked crack on Manchester in LA. And you telling you got me- proof of it? Yes, his drug dealer still exposed him already. Right, <laughs> right, right. So you telling me that this man who was smoking crack on Manchester is walking in a room with them good white folks offering $200 million to sell his soul, his crack smoking soul, and he ain't do it? Man, f out of here, bro. So he's still on drugs right now? Listen, I believe so. Man, yeah. come on, my but he talked. He, talk, so. he talked about Faison love too. He brought Faison up by four times in there. I seen it, maybe five. It was like yeah. it, it was. It was just because of their old, you know, the old stuff that they went through. Mm -hmm. But he said a lot of stuff. He he hit a lot of a lot of cylinders. He hit he hit Steve Harvey. He hit who Steve, else? He hit Steve stole his joke. Steve did. I seen that. Kevin Steve Hart got Kevin Hart. Cooper. He got a Kevin Hart too. That's hating though. And here's why that's hating though, right? Tiffany right? Tiffany Haddish. In facts. And he said that Kevin Hart is an, is an industry plan. Now listen, now I don't think that somebody's, I guess their rise and fall or their talent, right? I don't think that like, for example, right? Like the biggest argument against like an industry plan is folks will say, yo, we watched him grind. Yo, he's talented. Listen, most industry plans <laughs> grind and are talented, right? So like, I don't think that that's as qualified as an industry plan, right? But when he says that Kevin Hart is an industry plant, and, and, and here's why I say how. Because industry plants are protected by the covenant. Meaning, my nigga, like, yeah. if you are an industry plant, there ain't nothing no can do to you to, to, to tear you down. They're going to protect you to the nth degree. But Kevin Hart has been engaged in 
Scandal after scandal after scandal. But that's part of kind of like to pop it off. Not that hell no. that, 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 All that right there is shock yeah. value. That's going to pop it out for him. Yeah, but but it, he said a lot. Like, like it was it, it shocked the world. Some of the people that he flipped, he, he flipped up over on a lot of niggas that didn't mm -hmm. even see it coming. You know what I'm <laughs> Like, yo, Ricky Smiley, man. Ricky Smiley hurt, I think, probably the most out of it. He cried the next day. He Trick cried? Daddy just, yeah. Trick Daddy just yeah, it was real sentiment. You could hear it in his voice. You know, he on the radio. You could hear it that man, it really choked him up. It choked him up. Is that, bro? bro Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.